Hi everyone, Lou here from the Child and Parent Centre in Westminster. Just saying hello to you all. So just wanted to share a message from Julie, Kaylee, Addie and myself. We're missing you lots and lots. It's really quiet here without you. And we appreciate that how much your families um, make this centre and um, we really enjoy having you here with us. So today I'm going to show you how to do something really simple at home if you haven't already tried this. So this is painting with ice cubes. So we don't have to have paints at home and expensive paints that we um, have to go out and buy. We can actually make some ice cube paints. So using some food colouring that you may have in the house. Just put a tiny drop of the food colouring in into your ice cube and fill it with water. Now I've used little pop sticks in here just so I can get them out so I'm not too dirty. I've got a little bit on my hands already. So what I've done is I've made a few little colours and I've stuck on this little tray, so a little plastic tray or a foam tray or something. And I'm using one of our easels you might recognise from outside when we, when we paint outside. So I'm going to use this just so it's for ease so you can see um, how easy and how great this is. So you can use the different colours. The children can spend a long time doing this because the, as the ice melts, you start to get more um, liquid coming out and more colour. And you can start looking at what different colours you can make. So I'm going to use this one. It looks like orange on here, but look at this. What a great colour. Vibrant, vibrant yellow from a bit of food colouring. And you can just keep going round and round and it makes a great colour. It runs, you can let it run. I mean, if it's flat, it'll be different again. It's just because it's in this um, way of putting it on the easel. Now I've got this colour. I think, I think it's a bit of a pinky orange, but we'll have a look and see. You can see all these different colours that are coming out. So I used a bit of pink food colouring with this one and dropped it in with a little bit of the yellow. And this is the colour I got. Really simple to make these different colours. And then I've got this nice purple one. It's quite lilac -y, quite light when you put it on. But the more you go on, the more it melts, the more colour comes. So you can make lots of different colours and shapes. I've got a blue. That's one of the downsides. It's been out a little while. So I'm gonna use my fingers. And we're gonna go around. Oh, it's very, oh, very pale, this one. Very pale. So this one had a lot of water in it, very little blue by the looks. But that's okay. It's barely left any marks on my hands, so very little um, blue in there. So you can see how if you put more water and less colouring in, you get lighter colours. Oh wow, this looks pretty good, I think. <laughs> you have to see how you get on with your little ones when you're doing this one. Make them into flowers, perhaps. Look at this. Make a little flower. Make our little flowers in our garden. Whee. And then, what other colours have I got here? I think I've got a lovely pink. Oh yeah, look at this. So this is a pink food colouring. Making another great colour. Let's go with our flowers. Let's go with the flower theme, eh? And then, where's my green gum? I'm going to put the green on, make a long stem. Yeah. See? Really simple. You can have fun, your little one can have fun. Really inexpensive way to just spend some time. You can feel, look at the different colours, mix the colours, feel how cool it's getting. Feel the ice. It's all safe play. And then, other things we can do. So I've popped some of the ice cubes that I've got here onto a piece of paper. And I'm just going to run it down and just have a little play again. So with a waterproof tablecloth for example, you can do this, can do this, can make all the colours run and merge. Let's see what else we get, I'm going to wipe a few of those so it's not too runny. Can do different things. I'm just going to use this tray so if we get any drips. Whee! What do you think? We can 
can just keep moving around our paper, merging. You could even use the straws and blow. Or if your child's old enough and can do the blowing concept themselves, they can blow the colors themselves and see what colors they get. They can add more colors. And the more they add, the more they can get creative, the more fun and the more hours go by just doing something so simple, so easy, something enjoyable for the children. And looking at the different patterns. So a bit of abstract art using ice, food colouring and a bit of time. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> Missing you. See you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye.